All right, Daniel, so could you please tell me how your team did at State? Um, at State we did pretty good. Uh, we had six final swims. Uh, two of those were relays and four of them were individual. And Jackson Garrett, who's a freshman, made top eight, which is all state. So that's pretty cool for him to get that his freshman year. Good morning, Park Hill South, and welcome to the South Side Scoop. I'm Ashley Pasley. And I'm Kyle Sims. Today is November 9th, and today is a purple day. Well, we have a lot more um, results for you guys in for swim with Tyler Espinosa. But for now, let's get into the announcements. Did you uh, happen to turn in your Dawson's form yet? Um, uh, no, I didn't, Ashley. Are you sure? Yeah. That's right. That was that was a little while ago, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> good news is, attention seniors, Dawson's will be back on Tuesday, November 17th for the makeup announcement order day. Tickets for this year's school musical presentation, The King and I, are now available for sale at lunch for only $8. All high school students can get their tickets during lunch through November 14th. See Mr. Lackey if you have any questions. The Asian Culture Club meeting has been rescheduled for next Tuesday, November 10th, after school in room A204. We'll be talking about the culture of India. Please see Ms. Walker if you have any questions. All boys cross country runners not doing a winter sport needs to clean out their lockers. This Friday, there will be a boys cross country meeting after school Monday, November 9th in room C103. See Coach Roth if you have any questions. If you ordered pictures at Picture Retake Day, they are now available for pickup in the reception office. Big Cat signups are now available outside of B108 for any senior boys who are interested. Auditions will be held after school on November 19th, so don't forget to sign up. Congrats to Talia for getting sixth place in poetry and Thomas for taking fourth place in humorous. Congratulations to all the freshmen that came home with Hardway. Um, well, you know, we had a really great fall sports season, you know, all of them kind of winding down, like football. Yeah, soccer came this weekend. Yeah, boys, um, cross country, and girls. Yeah, we had swim, too. But, this you know, weekend. most importantly, uh, cheer. Sure, cheer competed this know. weekend. Well, you know, I think Tyler Espinosa has more for us. Thanks, guys. Well, we've got a lot going on today in sports, so let's get right into it. On Saturday, the boys' soccer team took on Rockhurst in the quarterfinals. It was a tough, competitive game, and the boys played their hearts out. But Rockhurst did win the game with a score of 1-0. They scored a goal early in the second half, but that's okay. The Panthers are a young team with some immense talent, and we'll be back to the finals. Don't even worry about it. Cross Country also had a, had a big weekend. State was this weekend. Boys placed sixth overall at State, and the girls earned ninth place. Great job, guys. We're very proud of you. Shear also had State this weekend and placed fifth in the 4A large division, which is one of the hardest divisions to place in. And Park Hill, a little trivia fact for you, placed last in the division, so do what you want with that fact. Guys, I'm out of time in sports. I know I didn't get to swim results, I promised you, but I swear we will have them first thing tomorrow morning. So that's all I have for you today in sports. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks for that, Tyler. Happy birthdays today go out to Spencer DeLucia, Aaron Garrison, Casey Lawallen, Alicia Westbrook, and Hannah Womack. And on the lunch menu today, we have meatloaf and biscuit, mini volcano, tacos and Spanish rice, mozzarella breadsticks, and the premium meal is the Asian buffet. That sounds great. That's all we have for you today on the Southside Scoop. I'm Ashley Pasley. And I'm Kyle Sims. Have a great day, South.